Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. I'd, I'd like, like to welcome you to the 8th Annual MPP Mitzi Hunter New Year's Levy. Levy. This, this is the first time that we will be doing it virtually. My, My name is Joe Gia, and I will be your MC this afternoon. Um, I will start off by saying Ani, Tansei, Sego, Kwe Kwe, which are indigenous terms for welcome or hello. You know, welcome to be in this space with us, to be joining us. And I'll, I'll introduce myself and my traditional name, which would be Tansei Eskini Nikomun and Tisi Nakasun. My Ingen Odem, I have the Kusaskatuan, Eskodon, and Nujumba. And that's all, probably a language that you haven't heard. What it means is my name is Earthsong, and my family is from Tapaku Kusaskatuan and Eskodon First Nation, and I am from the Wolf Clan. So, so I've been asked today to do a, a land acknowledgement. So we, we always acknowledge the land in which we're on and, and we're, we're doing, doing this work. work. So, so we want to acknowledge the territories of the Mississaugas of Credit First, First Nation, Nation, the Haudenosaunee, the Huron-Wendat, and, and all those nations that were welcome here to make, make this space their home, home as, well as well as all of us who now reside, work, play, and live, and live in this space. We, we thank, thank them for taking care of this land since the beginning of time, and, and making this space hospitable, welcoming, and inclusive for all of us to share and to live our lives in. Today, Today I would I'd like to ask the Creator and the ancestors, all those who have gone on before us and those that are yet to come, to come and be with us today, to help us to do this work in a kind, gentle, compassionate, and caring way. As we're not here in person, but we are here in spirit, we ask, we ask those spirits to help us do this work, work so that, that we can have a successful and a beautiful event with, with all those that will be joining us. And we ask the creator and the ancestors to watch over each and every one of us and, one of us and keep us safe within, within our, our homes and, and the work that, that we do for ourselves, our families, and our community. And, and I would like to thank um, the organization for inviting me to do this. And uh, I will pass it on. And we're going to have a beautiful event today with, with uh, Mitzi and, and all those, those that will be taking care of us. So, so hi, hi, hi Mimiwish. Thank, thank you for this beautiful, beautiful day that, that we can, can now share. share. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. 
On behalf of the Islamic Foundation of Toronto, board, trustees, volunteers and staff, we wish you all a COVID-free 2021. Let us invigorate and enliven. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Hopefully, for the year 2021, the COVID-19 will disappear completely and everything will be back to normal so that we could enjoy family and friends and keep healthy. Hello, Scarborough Guildwoods. This is the East Scarborough Store for me. What makes us hopeful in 2021? People! Happy New Year! Hope, hope, I believe, believe is a gift from, from God, something we can, can hold on to if we are feeling distressed or wishing for a better tomorrow. tomorrow. Let, Let us pray and hope for a better year, year ahead. Take, take care, care and be safe, safe everyone. everyone. Greetings for the new year from everyone at the BAPS Swaminarayan Mandir and BAPS Charities in Skaroloro. Our, Our spiritual leader, His Holiness Mahan Swami Maharaj, inspiring life, in the joy of others lies our own, brings hope for the community to work together in 2021 for a brighter and healthier new year for all. I am very hopeful for 2021. And the reason why I have such hope is because God is with us and God is for us. I want you to be excited about this coming year. If all that we're facing, know that God is for you and God is with you. Have an awesome 2021. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ben Dam from Station 234, wishing you a happy new year and to please stay safe by staying home. Hello everyone, I'm Superintendent Dave Ritson, along here with members of our 43 Division team. After having gone through possibly one of the most difficult years of our lifetime, one where we saw unprecedented social unrest around the world, the immense challenges, of course, that we faced in dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. We at 43 Division are hopeful that 2021 brings us a year of recovery, reflection, and community healing. We are looking forward to getting to know and work with our community, all of our communities, better than we ever have before. So together, we can keep Toronto a safe place for all of us to work, live, and play. Thank you. For this new year of 2021, we are hopeful about the continuing mission of 5N2 in working toward hunger-free communities where the necessity of food is available for all who need it. Happy New Year from all of us at Scarborough Centre for Healthy Communities. Our hope for 2021 is that our community continues to show their compassion to support each other and unite as we build a stronger, healthier and happier Scarborough community. Hello everyone. My name is Vickery Bowles and I'm the City Librarian at Toronto Public Library. We've been through an incredibly difficult year filled with change and disruption and challenged, we've all been challenged in ways we've never even imagined before. And what has been really remarkable for me is to see the way in which people have come together to shift um, our priorities and to work together to serve the needs of our communities. And it's been truly incredible to see the way Torontonians have come together to support each other in so many different ways. My goal for uh, 2021 is to remain resilient and to look forward to the day when we're able to get together with friends and family and celebrate all of the big and small things that we have in life. Happy New Year from the University of Toronto's Scarborough to all our friends, neighbors, and partners. We look forward with optimism to continuing our work together, to strengthen, to support, to lift up, and to advance our community. Happy New Year from Agent Court Community Services Association. I wish for all of us a year ahead filled with strength, hope, courage and bravery to continue to hold on to each other, to continue to reach out to our friends and neighbors in the community to show care. Hi, my name is Uta Sawyers. I'm the executive director at East Scarborough Boys and Girls Club. And this year for the community, I really wish wellness, happiness, joy, and access for all of our community members locally and across the city. 
Happy New Year to everyone at Mitzi Hunter's Virtual Levy for 2021. Hi, I'm John Mason, President of Friends of Guild Park. I'm here at Guild Park with a reminder. Whatever comes our way this year, Guild Park is a great place to visit, to get recharged, and to feel hopeful for the future. Hi everybody, my name's Jim Whitney. I'm President of the Guildwood Village Community Association. I wanted to share my hope that everyone has a healthy and financially secure 2021. I also want to thank all our frontline workers and all the residents of Guildwood who've taken such great care of each other over the past few months. Thanks everybody and have a great year. I hope I'm Asha Kartehe. Nan Nambhundrin. J'espère. Possible. I hope. We are hopeful. Hi, this is Janice Hayes, Executive Director of YouthLink. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm really glad to be part of Mitzi Hunter's uh, New Year's Levy. Uh, as everyone knows, 2020 was a really tough year for, for everyone. And um, we have managed to continue our services over Zoom. And what I'm hoping is that in 2021, the vaccine kicks in and we're able to do face-to-face -face work again. Anyway, let's keep our fingers crossed. Thanks. Dear friends, we know this is a very challenging, hard time. Everybody is living in fear, anxiety, not knowing the future. But I want to wish you a great year to come. Have faith and be bold. Together we can overcome with the help of God who cares and loves us and be strong. May God bless you. Hello, MPP Mitzi Hunter. Thank you for your continued support to me, Andrew Hazel, president of the Scarborough Business Association. We would like to take this opportunity to wish you and your team a vibrant eighth annual New Year's celebration, wishing you a successful year ahead despite our many challenges. The Scarborough Business Association stands behind our Scarborough businesses. We are wishing our Scarborough businesses so much courage and strength to push through these challenging times. Please know that we are here for you. We are asking you to reach out to us so that we can work together. We are stronger together. Keep moving forward and keep your head high. Thank you, Mitzi. I would now like to introduce our friend and MPP for Scarborough Guildwood, Mitzi Hunter. That with the hope that a vaccine and national immunization program provides, that we will be able to gather as family, friends, and community one day soon. I am heartened by the resiliency of our community here in Scarborough Guildwood. We have fought the ravages of the pandemic together and looked out for each other. Some have lost loved ones, and I know how difficult it must be during these times. I wish you comfort. Know that I care and that your community cares about you. It was remarkable to witness the bravery of those who went out to work every day in the face of the pandemic to keep our city and province moving. Many essential workers had to work through this so that we could continue to receive health care, have clean, safe water, transportation, food, and other vital services. They put their lives on the line. Thank you to the heroes of the pandemic 
our frontline healthcare and other essential workers. Those who cared for the elderly in long-term care homes in the community. Today, we remember the many people in our community we lost in long-term care due to COVID-19. Thank you to the volunteers and nonprofit agencies who delivered tens of thousands of prepared foods, hampers, and food baskets. Let no one go hungry and be without in our society. My favorite times of the year are spring and fall. Spring bursts with new life as the first flowers push through the ground and the trees begin to bud. Fall brings the harvest that sustains us. We have an opportunity to create something new, a stronger, more resilient and inclusive community. My hope for our community in 2021 is that our spirits will be renewed and that like spring, we will emerge with renewed strength and determination, new ideas will emerge. We will reinvigorate our economy and reopen small businesses in our local community. Hashtag Scarborough Strong. We will close the learning gaps that may have been created or made worse by the pandemic in students' learning needs. We make the necessary investments in public education and give schools the tools that they need so that all students can learn. We will work hard to make our society fairer and just, that women will not lose ground in the workforce due to the pandemic. We will invest in skills, training, entrepreneurships, and trade that BIPOC will see rapid shifts to eliminate systemic racism and experience a more diverse and inclusive workforce and society. We do away with inequality and racial bias in all areas. We address the environmental crisis with proactive policies that protect rather than erode our precious air watershed, conservation areas, parks, species, and shorelines. That we preserve the environment for future generations. We see a safe community free of gun violence where youth have meaningful opportunities and supportive pathways for a bright future. Specifically, for our Scarborough community, that investments and commitments are followed through for a new hospital to provide better health care to meet the needs of our population. People, especially seniors, have affordable, secure, and good quality housing. We commit funding for the Eglinton East LRT and get on with the subway expansion project to the Scarborough Town Center. Let's keep Scarborough moving forward. That by fall, we reap the benefits of hard work. That our community is fully vaccinated and that we have herd immunity. So that we can reopen our mosques, our churches, our temples and gurdwaras, so people can once again have in-person worship. We can meet in restaurants and eventually attend live music, theater, arts, and festivals. Together, we will rise from the effects of COVID with our families intact and our community stronger. To do so, we need bold new ideas for innovation. We must rebuild a productive and inclusive economy. We require 
everyone's efforts to make this happen. I know that this will take patience and hard work. We are a strong and creative community here in Scarborough. You inspire me in the way that you have cared for your families, friends, and neighbors. I am so privileged to serve as your MPP for the past eight years. 2021 gives me hope for renewal and rejuvenation. We have a strong, caring community and together we will get through this. S stay safe and I wish you a happy, healthy and prosperous 2021. So now we will have some fun with games to test our Scarborough knowledge. Are you ready? And this is live. So I want you to use the chat function and tell us your answers. So the first question that I have, and we know that we have a fantastic zoo here in Scarborough. So which of these cute baby animals did the Toronto Zoo not receive in 2020? We know that 2020 was a baby boom year for the Toronto Zoo. So is it A, giraffe, B, elephant, C, zebra, or is it D, wolf puppies? Please put your answer in the chat. Okay, we have some guesses already coming into the chat. We have Nanda who says, perhaps it's B, elephant. We also have Becca who says, uh, D, she's going for wolf puppies. Nita, Nita, you actually picked my favorite baby born at the zoo and that is the giraffe Imani. So I'm gonna give the answer. Do I hear a bit of a drum roll? And the answer is B, elephant. So Nanda, you were first out of the gates and your answer is correct. Okay, let's go to the next question. These are gonna get a little bit harder. Who is not your current elected representative? Is it A, MPP Mitzi Hunter, moi? B, MP John McKay? C, Paul Ainsley? Or is it D, Abel McConye Tesfaye? Can we have some guesses in the chat? <laughs> we have some good guesses coming in. Is this one that obvious? All the answers are coming in as I hear from Derek, from Danielle, from Ashley. Everyone is saying D. Uh, Abel, McConyan, Tesfaye, and as you know, this is our world famous music star, The Weeknd. And absolutely, while many of you will think The Weeknd is a representative, he's not yet elected. So the correct answer is D, The Weeknd. 
Okay, so our final trivia question for this afternoon. Which of these famous Canadians isn't from Scarborough? Is it A, Wayne Simmons, B, Rick Mercer, C, Lily Singh, or is it D, Jim Carrey? Please put your answers into the chat. Nanda says D, Jim Carrey. That's a really good guess. I know how proud Jim Carrey is being from Canada, but is he a Scarborough boy? Let's wait and see. And Jane says B, Rick Mercer. Yana also says B. Erica says B. All of the answers coming in is pointing out that Rick Mercer is not a Scarboroughite. I'm sure he wishes that he was. So B is the correct answer, Rick Mercer. This is wonderful. I hope that you have enjoyed a little bit of trivia today that you have been inspired by the New Year's messages that you received. And I wanna say thank you for spending time together virtually this afternoon at my eighth annual New Year's levy. I hope that you have been uplifted and that you feel inspired to embrace the year ahead. I know that there are still challenges as we all wait to get vaccinated. And I hope that you all will take the advantage of doing that when you receive your first opportunity. Thank you to the team that helped put on today's production together with all of those who contributed to make it such a wonderful afternoon. My hope for 2020 is that together we will renew our community and that we will grow stronger together. I wish you all of the very best for 2021. Please enjoy a brief concert prepared just for you by students at Sistema Toronto. I hope that you will see the light.